Welcome to an exclusive 100-yard interview with Josh Williams. Say hi, Josh. Hey, how y'all doing, everybody? <laughs> okay, so we're going to be watch walking the whole length of the football field while asking Josh Williams some burning questions I know all y'all are dying to know. So, Josh, what was your first football memory? Uh, I would have to say one of my first football memories was probably uh, growing up in the locker room with my dad. You know, he played a uh, professional football career, so just being around him my whole life and just growing up in the locker room was probably one of my first memories. That's a good one. <laughs> and the next question is, what is something you want more people to know about you? Um, I want people to know more about my uh, little brother, Jordan, he plays basketball at uh, Vanderbilt, and he's super good. He's a point guard. He's he's six two. He's taller than me, so I don't think everybody knows that I have a little brother that plays basketball. So I think everybody should know that. And this next one's a serious one that I know our audience is dying to know. Okay, it's fourth and two. You have to go for it, and they hand the ball off to you. Jaden does actually. How many five year olds do you think it would take to tackle you to stop you from getting that fourth and two? How many five-year-olds? Mm -hmm. No laughing. Legit. I would have to say probably 50, 50 five-year-olds to tackle me. What do we think about that, David? Solid, Solid. number? It could be higher. It could be higher. I, higher. I wouldn't want to like run into If you guard. get drafted by any NFL team, who would it be? If I could get drafted by any NFL team, it would probably have to be either the Houston Texans or the Dallas Cowboys. Just me being from Texas and being a, a Texas fan, just being able to support the state would be cool for me. Same, same. What's the best piece of advice you've ever gotten in your life? Some of the best advice I've ever gotten is definitely to stay in the moment. You know, uh, a lot of people try to look at other people's situations and base their situation on theirs and their successes on theirs. And uh, I feel like if you just focus on your situation and focus on getting better every day, you can only uh, go up from there. Who gave you that advice? My, my dad. Best or favorite NIL deal, if you could get any NIL deal? If I can get any NIL deal, I would probably want to do an I, a deal with a luxury brand company, like a lifetime deal, like Dior or Louis Vuitton or something. Oh. Have like a lifetime deal with them. Yeah. Didn't? <laughs> if Michael Myers and Darth Vader got into a battle, who would win? I would go Darth Vader for sure. That's a smart answer. <laughs> You're done with practice and everything. What's your go-to thing that you do like off the field? I like to get my dinner, go home and take my shower, get all my stuff ready for the morning, and I like to just lay down in the bed and just watch movies. I like to watch like series, so like like the whole Harry Potter series or the whole Hobbit series. I like to watch the whole entire collection. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Any celebrity who can come to a Tiger game, who would it be? I would have to bring back Tupac <gasps> to one of my Tiger games. I think that'd be dope. And where would you want him to sit? Like in a suite or like on the? It would be on the sideline. Right where? On the sideline, right, right here. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a good one. And then, um, last question that we have is, what is your most like brutal conditioning story you have here at LSU? Um, definitely would have to be my sophomore, going into my sophomore year summer, and Coach Moffitt made us do, I would have to say, an hour sh straight lifting with squats, power cleans, and. And then afterwards, we had to go outside and we ran for a legit hour and a half. And it was probably one of the toughest workouts that we had. We had to do 300-yard shuttles and 110s, and it was and it was a good workout. But that's probably one of the most memorable times that I remember here at LSU working out. Were y'all being punished? No, it's just one of our workouts. I was like, what'd y'all do to earn that? I mean, it was just it was just a part of our uh, training regiment, but it was a good it was a good grind, you know. It was a build up and it paid off. Did you throw up? No, I, I didn't throw up, but I definitely felt it. Well, we've reached the other side of the end zone. Some place, we're like now in the end zone. I know you're very familiar with this area of the field, having how many touchdowns now? I don't, I don't keep count, I don't know. Humble, humble, okay. Well, since you are in the end zone now, what is your celebration dance that you would do? You have to show it. 
I mean, I'm not really much for like celebration dances, but I mean, I usually just let my emotions and my energy just kind of take over. Oh. Thank you to LSU Football for this interview. No problem. I'm glad to be here anytime.